Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this look right here obviously. Uh, which is basically a nice nude, bronzy, glowy, flawless makeup look. And it's really not that hard. I know like I've done, I've got a little bit extra with my eyeshadow. I wasn't planning to today. I was planning to just do a nice like kind of nude brown smoky eye and it turned into a kind of glitter cut crease situation. But if you want to see how I got this look then please make sure to keep watching. So a glowy look is what you wanted, so that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to start by priming my skin as per usual. So I'm going to use the uh, Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage from MAC. So it has like tiny little flecks of glitter. So I'm going to chuck that on first and then I'm also going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter because I just can't not use it anymore. It always helps with the longevity of your makeup. So I'm just going to do that right now. Next, we are gonna actually do a little bit of illumination. So I wouldn't normally do this unless I'm going for like a really, really intense glowy look. So what you can do is you can take like illuminating drops. I've got the Iconic London original illuminating drops here, but you can use whatever ones you want. I feel like every brand is coming out with them nowadays anyway. Um, so what I'm gonna do is pop some of this on the back of my hand, take my beauty blender, pick some of it up, and then just put it on the high points straight onto my skin um, and it obviously looks quite intense but once you put the foundation on top it's not so bad and um, we can always add a little bit of this on top of the foundation later on as well now for foundation I am going like full coverage I'm just I want to be full coverage today so I personally love 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 the finish of the Armani Luminous Silk foundation and it's a bit more on the dewy and glowy side which is perfect for this look anyway but I want that full coverage as well so I'm going to take um just like the last couple of weeks off I'm going to take my cover effects um total cover foundation so what it is total cover cream foundation so I'm going to put the cream foundation on as base and then I'll go over the top um with the Armani one as well Alright, so next I'm not going to do any setting just yet. I'm going to go in with my cream bronzer, which is from Nude Sticks. I'm literally obsessed with this. I use it all the time. And it's in the shade Brown Sugar Baby. It's like an all over face colour, but I just use it to like help bronze up. Um, and it's got a little bit of a sheen in it as well, so it gives a really nice kind of glowy, dewy effect. Um, so I'm going to pick it up straight from the tube and just apply it to my face. looking cute oh what other cream products am I gonna go in with next so when I'm going for like something super glowy I tend to like to use cream products um, and use as little powder as possible um, if you do want it to last all day you are gonna need to set with powder obviously um, otherwise it will slip and slide um, unless I mean you've got quite dry skin in which case you won't really need to do that but I'm pretty oily so I do need to but um, I'm actually gonna go in with another layer of the iconic London um, illuminator drops um, just on the high points of my cheekbones just to make it pop a little bit more and then once we put highlight like powder highlight on there it's game over it's gonna be so glowy mm, so happy so ready so i'm just gonna apply it again with my little beauty blender i'm just gonna take a couple drops of this on the back of my hand and pop it on easy peasy and then next i'm gonna do a little bit of cream brush brush oh my god I can't even talk. I'm going to go for a bit of cream blush. That's the one. And this is from Illamasqua. This is the Colorvale Gel Blusher um, in the colour Enama, which is this shade right here. It's so, so pretty. It's like a kind of like peachy shade. Um, so I'm actually, oh, I don't know whether to just take a bit. It's like, it's such a weird texture. It's almost like a moussey texture. And then I might just pop it on with my finger and blend it out with my sponge. I don't 
don't know what concealer to take today. I think I'm gonna take my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I'm super into it. Now this concealer is really, really full coverage, so what I like to do is take a little bit and start by using my finger, just popping that underneath the eyes right where we need most coverage and then you can kind of drag it down right where the nose is. Take it onto the lid as well. Take my damp sponge and just help blend all of that out. Eyes. To set that, I'm going to take my favourite translucent powder. It's the best. It's the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter um, powder, which is probably not a surprise because I pretty much use it every day. So I'm going to take a bit of this and I'm going to apply it with oh, with a brush. And then if I want to bake in any areas, if I am going to bake, it will probably just be my nose and like places that I really want to keep matte. Um, but other than that, I'm just going to take this nice little. Where is my brush? Oh, I'm going to take this nice little brush and set it. I'm just going to bake the sides of my nose. All right, now we can move on to the eyes while we let this sit and then we can move on to the face again after. Okay, so obviously we're gonna keep this very bronzy, very nude, very neutral. Um, but I do want to go in with this particular shade in the Riviera palette from Anastasia and it's the shade Yacht, which is like this oh, amazing bronzy shade. So I thought I would take a mixture of the Riviera palette and then the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions. I haven't used this in ages, but I love all of the kind of warm transition shades. So I'm actually going to start off with the Riviera palette and I'm going to go in with the shade Estate, which is just a really nice, like super light transition colour. Um, and I'm going to take that on just a kind of normal fluffy brush and pop that into the crease. Really. So now I'm going to dip into the Topaz Obsessions palette from Huda and I'm going to switch up the brush actually to a more tapered fluffy brush. This one is from Zoeva and I'm obsessed with it. So I'm going to take, uh, it doesn't have shade names, but I'm going to take this uh, nice warm brown shade right here. It's got kind of orange undertones and I'm all about it. All about it. So I'm just going to take this um, into that crease as well. So I'm going to take the more kind of brown shade um, and I'm going to do the same thing just to layer it up and kind of make that a bit more brown rather than orange. So this is the Jaclyn Hill 32 brush from Morphe um, and it's like way more tapered so I'm going to take the brown shade from the Obsessions palette and do that kind of right into the crease and kind of on the outer corner as well. take the shade Yacht which is the nice bronzy shade. I was going to cut my crease but I feel like I feel like I really don't need to and I can't be bothered because it's just long. So I'm going to take my Jaclyn Hill 41 brush which is a nice flat brush and I'm going to take Yacht and I'm just going to pop that onto my lid. I mean look at that pigment. Right, so now that we've done that liner, I'm just going to take some glitter liner. This is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in Midnight Cowboy. I'm 
So now for the lower lash line, I'm just going to take a combination of the dark brown shade and then the two lighter brown shades from the uh, Topaz Obsessions palette. Got there in the end. Then for our inner corner highlight, I'm going to go into the Anastasia Glow Kit and I am going to take, ooh, I might take this really dramatic one. So now I'm going to go in with some false lashes. Um, so I'm going to take my Lily Lashes in the style Miami. Obsessed. Obsessed. A big fluffy brush and I'm going to take um, the Laguna Bronzer from NARS. This is in my Stephen Klein palette. Um, and I'm just gonna really lightly bronze up again. And then I'm gonna use my uh, Anastasia A23 brush and I'm gonna take the Sugar Glow Kit from Anastasia and I'm gonna take the shade Butterscotch because it's my favorite. It's a really nice gold shade. And it just really emphasizes it. So for blush, I'm going to dip back into the NARS Stephen Klein palette. And I'm going to take the shade... I think it's the shade Lustre. It's the more kind of peachy shade. Um, so I'm going to take that on this little brush. And pop that on and then take that over my nose as well. So I'm gonna take some more of the Fix Plus. This one, by the way, is insane. It's like the cherry blossom one. It smells incredible. And I cannot recommend Fix Plus enough. One, for uh, making your makeup lo more long lasting, but also it just makes all of the powders sink into your skin and then it just, oh, any glow that you've got on your skin, it just emphasizes it, just makes it look like skin. It's unbelievable. So for my lip, I'm gonna be really boring and use my absolute favorite lip liner of all time, which is Whirl from MAC. I, I'm sorry, it's just my favorite and I won't give it up. I think it's just the perfect nude for my um, skin tone and for like my lip color, if that makes sense. for the lip. I'm gonna go in with the Sugar Mama Liquid Matte from Huda Beauty and then I'm gonna go in with her Liquid Strobe in Angelic um, just to kind of emphasize my lips and make them look a bit more plump and I'll show you how I do that in a minute. So I'm first just gonna take some Sugar Mama. And then with the Liquid Strobe, I'm just gonna put it on certain points. So, Cupid's bow. and then just the center of the lip. Right, so this is pretty much the makeup look done. I might do another little spritz, because why not? So I'm just gonna do something with my hair. Might put a bit of glow on my body, and then I think we're done. So this is the final look, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this nude and glowy, gorgeous makeup look. I just love a bronzy look, I mean. <laughs> pretty much my go-to if I could I'd wear these looks all the time and I know I've been doing a little bit of colour recently which is I guess unlike me um, but if you did like the video please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already I would really appreciate that and then all the products that I use today will be listed in the bottom bar below as per usual and then apart from that I hope you have a great week and I'll see you guys next time bye